What is going on, Fam Jam? I told you that I was going to try to get some more teams in on season predictions of the regular season, so that's what I'm going to do. This video is Alabama. Nick Saban, him and in, hasn't won uh, the national championship since 2020, won the SEC uh, two years ago, uh, and then did not make the SEC championship last year. So it looks like kind of a revenge season for the Tide. So we're starting out on Middle Tennessee. It's in Bama. It's a win. Easy. Uh, week two is Texas at Alabama. Uh, Texas played them very hard last year. It was close. Alabama win uh, wins that one uh, last year. I think they win again just because it's in Tuscaloosa. Not sure about uh, Ewers just yet. And I think Milrow's going to start. So we're going to go Alabama over Texas in week two. This one's interesting. Alabama at South Florida. Uh, so that's just an interesting spot, but Alabama wins that one. And then you get into SEC play, which is going to be Ole Miss coming to Tuscaloosa September 23rd. I like Lane Kiffin. I think the talent is going to be a little bit different. You're in Tuscaloosa. It's hard to beat Alabama in Tuscaloosa. It's hard to beat Alabama, period. So Alabama rolls right there. Goes to 4-0 and and then goes to Stark Vegas September 30th to take on Mississippi State. I think this is, again, a win for Alabama. You're just looking at a talent discrepancy there. They're going to, uh, you know, break in a new coach at Mississippi State. Shout out Mike Leach, the Pirate. Uh, but Alabama moves on to 5-0. and Now, this is a trap game for October 7th to me. There's not a bye week here. Alabama goes to College Station. Everybody keeps telling me that we need to pay attention to Texas A&M, pay attention to Texas A&M. They said that last year. They ended the season like 5-7. and seven. So I'm not super on board with Texas A&M, but I have seen Jimbo kind of be a thorn in Nick Saban's side. Weird games happen. They beat them last year. So um, Alabama remembers that. I think they'll be prepared. So Alabama goes into College Station gets the win there, but that'll be a closer game than I think everybody thinks. Arkansas comes to Tuscaloosa on the 14th. That one, Alabama, I like the Hogs, but they haven't shown much, and they're, they're just they're a little down right now. So Sam Pittman is working on the program, but not doing great. So Alabama at this point is undefeated in the season. Revenge game coming on October 21st, the third Saturday in October, as they say. The cigar game is Tennessee at Alabama. Trust me, Alabama has had this circled for 365 days. All the fireworks, the cigars, all the media hype going around Tennessee, everything at that game. So Alabama will be ready. Alabama is going to win that game. Then you've got LSU at Alabama again looking to avenge a loss from last year. I've actually got LSU winning this game in Tuscaloosa. They're going to burn a lot of the emotion that uh, they have with Tennessee coming to Tuscaloosa the week before. It's going to be a close game, but they will win that one. LSU with Jaden Daniels. I like what they're doing. I think Brian Kelly can go into Tuscaloosa and get a win. So at this point, Alabama will just have one loss. Alabama goes to Kentucky after a bye week. They get a lot. They lose to LSU. Get the bye week. Get their get extra practice and everything. Goes into Kentucky. They win. Chattanooga comes to Tuscaloosa. Alabama wins. FCS school coming in right, right before the Iron Bowl. Now this is Alabama going into Auburn. I think the Auburn team is going to be better than they were last year. I think this is a highly contested game, and I look at what they did last year where Alabama did win. I think Alabama goes down on the Plains. To end the season 10-2, and LSU wins the West on that game right there. I think it's on the line. Auburn just likes to spoil Alabama's season, and I think it happens. So the two losses I've got for Alabama is going to be LSU coming to Tuscaloosa and then Alabama going to Auburn. So Alabama ends the season 10-2 with a loss to LSU and Auburn. Probably looking at a Sugar Bowl bid. Um, and that's, uh, that's how I see Alabama's season shaking out.
So again, guys, leave it in the comments, but keep it clean. We can't, well, I'm not going to let, you know, super derogatory or uh, super rough comments stay. YouTube doesn't allow those anyway. Uh, but let me know what you think. If you disagree with me, cool, we can talk about it. But keep it clean in the comments, hit that like button. And if you uh, don't agree, just let me know. Hey, we don't know what's going to happen. That's why we play the games, and that's why we enjoy the season. So that is how Alabama shakes out, ends it at 10-2. and two. So we will see you guys next time. Fam Jam, I'm out.